Hello guys, see you again on this channel. What do you think if there is someone who can stop time at will with just his mind? Curious, right? In this film we will discuss the storyline of the film entitled Cash Back which was released in 2006. Let's go straight to the story of this film. This film tells the story of a young man named Ben Willis. He had a fight with his girlfriend named Susie, because Ben broke their relationship, arguing that Ben could not make Susie happy. One week has passed since breaking up with Ben. Susie also has a new boyfriend named Steve Jenkin. Seeing that Ben felt sorry and heartbroken to see Susie with someone else. And in a state of heartbreak, his best friend since childhood named Sean, advised Ben to immediately find a new partner to forget about Susie. That night Ben tried to contact Susie to apologize and ask her to come back with him. But Susie refused on the grounds that she was already with Steve. Ben then asked Susie, has she ever slept with Steve? Then Susie replied, had slept with Steve. Finally Ben was more disappointed with Susie's answer. He felt torn in his heart imagining Susie sleeping with Steve. That night Ben could not sleep, he then took a photo of his memories with Susie and tried to burn it. But Ben Todd is able to do it. Since that night, Ben has never been able to sleep for a full 24 hours. He is always haunted by the shadow of Susie which makes him start to get frustrated. One week later Ben is seen shopping at the supermarket. And accidentally sees a poster for a night shift job there. Ben also wants to heal himself so he applies for a job at a supermarket. Unexpectedly the manager really liked Ben and immediately accepted him to work there. When Bean was working at the supermarket, he had four co-workers, named Sharon as the cashier, Barry the bricklayer, Matt Stefan and Brian. Well that day Ben has not slept for two weeks. I don't know what happened to him, but while the Bean was daydreaming, the movement of time around them kept slowing and slowing down, until time stopped. Everyone stops and only Bean can move. Because Bean is an artist, he really admires women's bodies. So he took advantage of that pause, to paint the female bodies around him. Then after the bean is done with his wish, then Ben snapped his fingers and time went back on. The next day Ben back to work as usual. But Pion who continues to be bullied, Sharon just smiled at him while in the dressing room. Ben tries to chat with Saren, Ben asks why the broadcast is rushing home. Then Saren replied that he changed shifts last week. As Sharon leaves, Ben again tries to stop time, but to no avail. He just slows it down, and watches Sharon leave. After Sharon's departure, Bean continued his work. This time the theme is bullying Bean. Mate says tonight he will go, watching together with Sharon, and about to have sex. Knowing that, Bean looked very disappointed, because once again the woman he loves belongs to the people. The next day, in the locker room where he worked. When Barry arrives, Barry is asked about his date with Sharon last night. Met says that Sharon likes him a lot, and they have sex smoothly. Bean who heard it became even more disappointed. Then suddenly the manager came, and said there would be a match futsal with other branches. On the appointed night, the match begins. Just as Matt kicks the ball into the manager's face, Bean stops time again. And looks, the Bean team also lost. Then he walks out to fetch water, with his superhuman abilities. And he feels safe and untouchable feeling like a superhero. Suddenly Bean heard something ringing, which shouldn't have been heard since time had stopped. Turns out Bean realized that he wasn't the only one who could stop time. But there are also the same as him. Then Bean returned to the futsal field and sounded his finger again, that's when time rolls back. Because of the hard kick that hit the manager, finally the manager's nose was broken. Then the Met took his manager to the hospital. Met also orders Bean to bring Sharon home. And on the way home, Pion invites Sharon to stop at a cafe, and that's where Bean asks how was Sharon's night with the meth that time. Hearing the Bean's question, Sharon immediately denied it. He said, they went only as friends, and nothing more. Pion is finally excited again to learn that Sharon is now single. Will they then tell the past and tell their future wishes? Until the moment Bean said he wanted to be a famous painter, Sharon who likes painting becomes amazed at Bean. He always hoped to have a painter's life partner because a painter has its own beauty and is very romantic. Well, after a long chat, Pion then proceeded to deliver the liquid home. The next day, the manager called all his employees including Bean. She invites everyone to attend her birthday event. 
Afterwards, Sharon asked Bean to pair up with her, at the manager's birthday party. Piana also agreed to Sharon's invitation. Time has passed and it doesn't feel like it's been four weeks without sleep guys, that day he stopped time again and started painting Sharon. He kept repeating it hundreds of times, and what he was painting at that time was his girlfriend. To the next video. When Shireen wants to get home from work, Sherry even had him pick her up tomorrow night, and traveled in pairs to his manager's birthday. And before Saren went home, suddenly he kissed Bean. At that moment Ben felt a change in him, at that moment he felt his sleep curse was gone, and sure enough Night Nut could sleep again. So in the middle of his deep sleep, Pion was startled by a ringing phone. And it turns out that Met and Barry are playing a prank. They claim to be expert producers from a gallery owner who loves Ben's paintings. And ask Bean to come to his gallery next Monday. Finally the manager's birthday arrives, and Bin then meets Sharon at home. Before going to the party, Bean tells Sharon that one of the galleries is interested in his painting. Then Shireen was also happy with the news. Unexpectedly, in the middle of the party, a former peanut named Susie came there. It turns out that Susie's lover is the manager's brother. The party starts again with manager madness, and at that moment Bean wants to pee, and cues for the toilet. But instead he met Susie there. Surprisingly Susie then approached Bean, then said that she was sorry and wanted to get back with Bean. Their Pial looks confused because Bean has been with Sharon. On the other hand, Bean still has feelings for Susie. In the silence of Bean, Susie suddenly kissed him gently and Sharon apparently saw Susie's action unexpectedly. Sharon then saw him, and he was very sad then left the party. Bean who found out immediately stopped time back. Pian then left Susie and approached Sharon in the middle of the stall time. Bean thought hard, how to convince Sharon? Then I remembered that one of his paintings would be displayed in the gallery. Bin decides to display Sharon's face painting in the gallery and invites Sharon to take a look. Well after the solution is found Bin again let the time run. After the party was over, Bean went to Sharon's house to explain about Susie, but an angry Sharon then scolds Bean. And because Bin felt unsuccessful then Bin left feeling disappointed. And when he parted with Sharon, suddenly his curse returned. He goes sleepless days. And it's time to meet the gallery owner named Alex Sport. After met him Alex Sprott, Alex admitted that he had never called Pion at all. And also never making an appointment with Bean, Bean realized that someone was working on it. But seeing Bean disappointed, Alex asked Pion to show his painting. And it turns out that Alex is interested in his painting. And it turns out that Alex is interested in his painting. After that Alex wanted to make an actual promise to display the Pion painting in his gallery. If useful to you guys, please like and share Pion is excited, so Bean invites Sharon to attend the gallery invitation letter. On the appointed day very many people enjoy painting from Pion. Pion just standing in the middle of the room waiting for the arrival. Sharon. Sharon was surprised because hundreds of her paintings were plastered on the gallery wall. She was silent and could only smile happily. Then Shireen approached Ben. Ben then tried to explain about his relationship with Susie. But Sharon stopped him. Then say, it's what's in the gallery that explains it all. Then Ben asks, do you trust me? And then suddenly Bean kisses Sharon, and at that moment time automatically stops. Then Ben took Sharon to enjoy the snow outside. And finally now they live happily together and the movie is over. Okay guys, so the lesson we can take from this movie is reminiscing about the past is natural. But don't forget that there comes a time when we have to get up and move forward. For those of you who are confused about your past with your partner, you also have to keep getting up and looking for a new one because after all time will continue to run. Hopefully friends can take lessons from the storyline of the film this time. And don't forget to subscribe, like and leave a comment below. If you want to request a film, the story will be discussed. Thank you for watching and see you in the next movie. Goodbye.